The good life becomes trifling If you ain't got no felonies, get your gun license The good life becomes trifling Niggas ain't shooting fair once, they gun fighting Go get your gun license, don't be an outlaw like me License to kill when I hit him, the nigga shit his jaws when the 40 pound hit him. What the fuck these niggas saw? Lock and load is what I was told. I caught my first gun charge when I was 14 years old. That's on my juvenile record, but now I'm grown. Damn, I wish I had a license to hold. Cause when the rapper get caught with a gun, they say how stupid is he? This nigga famous walking around with his heat. But when the rapper got armed security, they say he run with police. Nobody loves a snitch, that's the code of the streets. But when the rapper get murdered, None of the least, they don't retaliate. All they say is rest in peace. Well, some candidates running for president right now on the Democratic side are openly promising what they privately wanted for years. They want the NRA stamped out. They want to ban guns. They may even want to take guns by force. The NRA has got to go! The NRA has got to go! The NRA is the worst organization in this country. I am uh, very uh, much one that is against uh, uh, handguns, uh, and I know in my urban uh, environment, uh, I see little to no need for uh, guns uh, at all. Yeah, just some rational discourse. For you. We don't need guns. Well, of course, we need guns. You're not allowed to have guns. That's the attitude. Wealthy liberals obviously hire bodyguards or hide themselves away in safe-gated neighborhoods. But what about people who can't afford to do that? What would gun bans mean for people who live in, say, Detroit, Michigan? Well, this show went to Detroit to investigate that very question, and here's what we found. My name is Elena Gonville, and I live in the city of Detroit. Elena Gonville is an armed Detroiter. I carry a Glock 45. Keep one in the chamber? Definitely. Keep my gun right here on my lap. She chooses to carry a gun to protect herself. She says her gun helped her survive an armed carjacking at a liquor store on Detroit's west side. My arm was hit. Gonville was shot in the arm during the attack. War wound here. She drove herself to the hospital. Police never caught the attackers. So, um, they had AK, and I had my Glock, and... It went down, they saw a pretty girl with pink lipstick and they just thought that they could get me and surprise, surprise, I'm Honey the Bouncer. <laughs> Stories like hers are why so many people in Detroit have decided to take personal protection into their own hands. Why do you carry a firearm? Because I live in Detroit. <laughs> why not call the police? Sometimes it takes a while. Hey, how you doing? Detroit's chief of police, James Craig, agrees. It only takes a minute or less for violence to happen, and it's over. And that's why Craig strongly supports the right to carry. If a citizen is armed, they have a better opportunity to staying alive than if they weren't. Michigan issues gun permits to anyone in Detroit who takes a class and passes a background check. Donville took her firearms class with Detroit native Rick Ector. Heck yeah, let's shoot. <laughs> Ector's Detroit-based gun rights group, named Legally Armed in Detroit, has helped thousands of women get their carry permits. We have a growing number of women here in Metro Detroit who are learning more about firearms and what it takes to defend themselves. Do you recommend that law-abiding citizens go out and get that permit? If they're law-abiding, they get the training, absolutely. I've particularly found interest in going to classes that are all female, who want, who support carrying concealed weapons. The number of permits has surged in Wayne County, Michigan, where Detroit is located. Nearly one in every 10 people has a carry permit. We have professionals, we have house moms, we have uh, people who are just everyday normal citizens. When criminals pray and look for victims, they're usually looking for those who they believe are defenseless. We're talking about women. We're talking about the elderly. There's always going to be crime. There's always going to be, you know, they say the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy, and he's not going nowhere. What would happen if the government made it illegal to carry a gun? People would still carry. I'd rather, my dad always says, I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Is that how it goes? So, I mean, it's... it's that's how it goes. Elena Gonville is hardly alone. Part two of our series on being legally armed in the city of Detroit airs tomorrow night. Good luck to Beto trying to take those guns away.
The good life becomes trifling If you ain't got no felonies, get your gun license The good life becomes trifling Niggas ain't shooting fair ones, they gun fighting Go get your gun license, don't be an outlaw like me License to kill when I hit him The nigga shit his jaws when the 40 pound hit him What the fuck these niggas talk? A young nigga driving on a Saturday evening The police pulled him over for no reason He reached on his hip cause his phone was ringing The cops said he was reaching License to kill A wild adolescent locked up in the beacon Always arguing with police and beefing The CO's restrained him, he choking and wheezing They said he just stopped breathing License to kill A lady in the hospital, she kinda ill but she getting better, her health starting to build She ain't got no insurance so she can't pay the bill So the doctors pulled the plug License to kill A regular nigga in the hood drinking his Hennessy Police ran up on him, they ain't show their identity He shot the cop dead, he thought it was his enemy They gave him the death penalty License to kill Fire in my heart Life becomes trifling if you ain't got no felonies. Get your gun license. The good life becomes trifling. Niggas ain't shooting fair ones, they gun fighting. Go get your gun license. Don't be an outlaw like me. License to kill. Erica Huggins said, We got the right to bear arms. So under my red monkey jeans, I wear crowns. Beat the system at their own game. Yeah, y'all. Dropping street knowledge. I'm trying to prepare y'all. Message.